Uh, you're joining me in my kitchen today. I'm processing, uh, well, I've already done two flats of peaches and I'm working on the last three today. I'm making chutney and salsa. But what I'm going to show you today is how to blanch peaches because almost all peach recipes will call for you to get the skins off. Now, for years, I was following the instructions that most people have and I was blanching my peaches whole. And I don't know if anyone has ever done that before, but what you end up with are these slimy little balls that you have to then try to cut in half and remove the pit. So one year, I threw caution to the wind, and I decided to slice my peaches first, which is what you see me doing now. And then on my stove, I have a pot of just regular boiling water. And what I'll do is I'll put my peaches in the water anywhere from 30 seconds to two minutes. Now that's gonna depend on the ripeness of your peaches, so make a judgment call. My peaches today are very, very ripe. I've had them for a few days now. Um, and they'll probably need 30 seconds max. So I'll show you how to do that process. You'll need a pot of boiling water on the go, which is right over there. And then in my sink here, I have cold, cold, cold water. So what this does is it stops the cooking process of the peaches. So I'm just going to slide my peaches, keeping an eye on what time it is. So it's 10.45 right now. So I don't want these puppies in there any longer than a minute or else they'll cook a little bit too long. So pop a bunch in there, wait about a minute or so. Like I said, anywhere from 30 seconds to two minutes. And then I just use one of these, but um, anything you can to get the peaches out safely. So after about a minute, what you'll do is you'll take them out of the hot water and you'll put them directly into the cold water. And uh, if I had ice made, I'd probably have ice in there as well, but I don't have ice today. So what I'll do is I'll just keep running cold water to make sure that the cooking process stops. And then you'll see, once they're done, that the skin slide right off, which is exactly what you want. And then from there, you can either, a lot of people can peaches, um, like if you're just doing peaches and syrup, a lot of people do halves. Uh, I like to do quarters, so a lot of these, the work's already done for me. So now I'm at 1046, they've been in there for about 30 seconds or so. So I'll start to take the first few out. I'm just transferring them over carefully to sink with cold water. Do you want to come around? Navigating my small kitchen. You can already see some of the peels are starting. And my peaches are quite, quite ripe. A little too ripe. Um, thankfully, I did all my slices and everything on Friday. So today is Sunday, and I'm working on, as I said, the chutney and the salsa today. So once those are nice and cool in the bath, see, so look at that. Just slid right off. And from there, I'll slice them and do whatever I need, but you can see. And you get a lot less wastage this way, so while your peaches are um, a bit cooked through this process, um, most recipes, I mean, if you're even if you're doing a water bath, um, peach and syrup, they're going to be in the water bath for 20 minutes, so your peaches are going to cook regardless. But you have a lot less wastage than trying to take the peels off of your peaches with a knife while they're uh, still raw. So that is my big tip for blanching and removing the skins is to slice your peaches first. Because they're quite, I don't know if you can get zoom in, but they're quite slimy, as you can see. So you can imagine if this was a whole peach trying to work with this without denting it and bruising it and everything to, to get the pit out. So slice them first. Blanch them anywhere from 30 seconds to two minutes, depending on how ripe your peach is. Immediately dunk in cold water, and the skin should slip right off. And from there, you can process them with whatever recipe you're using. Thanks for joining me.